Very special times indeed because we're sure that most of you, uh, our viewers at home, have seen the colorful sunflower bandanas and, and pick and pay every single year. In fact, you probably bought one or you do so every single year but haven't had yet the, uh, the chance to see just how significant and important this gesture of kindness has been. Uh, now, you'll be happy to know that all of the proceeds from the bandana sales go towards the Sunflower Fund's mission. And uh, in so doing, they provide hope to those suffering from leukemia and other life-threatening uh, blood disorders. Now, we're joined this morning uh, by Suzanne ackman berman uh, Transformation Director at Pick and Pay and Taryn Collett Bowden from the Sunflower Fund to tell us a bit more about exactly what's been happening this year with the campaign and how successful it's been. Ladies, it's great to have you with us. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to start with you first, uh, Taryn, to tell us the, the mission of the Sunflower Fund. What exactly is it and what, and what are you all about? Well, the mission of the fund is to increase the South African bone marrow registry with mm -hmm. healthy and committed bone marrow stem cell donors. And this ultimately is going to save the lives of patients diagnosed with leukemia and other life-threatening blood disorders. And how it began was when my brother, Chris Corlett, was diagnosed with leukemia back in 2000. Yeah. Well, actually in 1997, he passed mm -hmm. away in 2000 mm -hmm. after a three-year struggle. And the Sunflower Fund was born to provide hope for these patients now so that they can all find their matching donor and hopefully save their lives. Yeah. Yeah. And Suzanne, the involvement with Pick and Pay, the National Bandana Campaign and the Sunflower Fund, how did that happen? Well, Taryn's mom, Tina, came to see me about 11, was 11 years ago sure, yeah. and said my son's dream was that the entire South African nation wore a bandana to try and highlight the disease. Yeah. Will you sell bandanas in Pick and Pay? And we said, what a great idea. Yes. So it's been an incredible campaign. The entire nation has come on board. And every year it's been, it's been just a, it's almost a tradition in South Africa at schools yes. and corporates to buy a bandana and wear it over the month of October and particularly on Bandana Day. Yeah, and everyone looks forward to that. Yeah. Uh, you know, we have the different colors, but I mean, it's, it's more than just about, you know, wearing it in your own uh, particular way. It's about showing creating support. and show, yeah. showing that support. So how has the foundation been doing over the years since 1990? How has it grown? Can you give us some, some numbers? There? It's grown incredibly. I mean, if I, if I look back in 1999, we were sitting on about 800 donors and yeah. your, your odds of finding a match are one in a, one in a hundred thousand. Yeah. So we've, we've grown the registry now to over 65,500 donors wow. to date, but that's still not enough. So we still need donors to register, you know, in order to beat the odds. Yes. And we would ideally like to get to 400,000 donors per ethnic group in South Africa. And we actually, our call center is open now as well, yeah. so if people want to register, they can. Yeah. But um, yeah, successfully recruited all those donors, as well as um, paid for the tissue typing tests, which have probably equated to over 30 million rand since we started. Yeah. Um, and to and that effect, the, sun, the, the, the national the bandana. The bandana. This, exactly. Is, exactly. this wow. is huge. Bandana Day um, honestly assists us in, in more ways than, than we could actually explain to the public. And, helps us pay for the tissue typing test and we, we're just so grateful to pick and pay and round table and all South Africans that, yeah. that partake in this. Yeah. And I guess it's important to note that you know the stats are that one in every 100 uh, donors are compatible because one you do in need 000. one in 100,000 yeah. yeah. and that's why we, you need uh, so many people that uh, are yeah. part of the, the bone marrow Absolutely. registry to, to make this happen. Yeah. Uh, but let's talk quickly about um, you know when it comes to donating blood and, and, and bone marrow how exactly does the process work because it's, it's more than just about creating awareness it's about educating people as well how does the process work well I think the the biggest thing there's a big myth out there that it's an incredibly painful procedure that they're gonna drill into your bones and suck your marrow that's, out that's exactly the picture exactly. that I have I'm gonna yeah, be honest no, that's no. the picture I have exactly and it, I mean it's it's really not that it's a very simple um, it's a simple blood test to register and if you call our call center it's 0800 1210 we are open now all they're going to do is go through a couple criteria with you. You mm -hmm. need to be between 18 and 45, weigh over 50 kilograms, have a BMI of less than 30, and just generally committed to helping anyone. You know, a lot of people are motivated by patients to join yes. the registry, but be be open to help absolutely anybody because you'll never know who you're actually going to match mm, one day. True. But you are giving a gift of life. Yeah. So. Um, once you call us, you'll donate two test tubes of blood. That's mm -hmm. all it takes to register. And if you found to be a match one day for a patient, the process is much like donating blood or um, platelets. Yes. You know, it's harvested the same way with a with a pipe, go well, tube going in here, yeah. drawing your blood out, separating your stem cells into into a bag, and the rest of your blood is returned into this arm. And yeah. that's the process for four to six hours. Thank yeah. you for demystifying that. I think that's that's, got, <laughs> that's got me breathing a little bit easier yeah. as well. But before we go on to the main reason why we are here today, Suzanne. I know that you're very, very excited <laughs> to hand over, yeah. uh, you know, what, what we're going to be doing. But let's talk a bit about Professor um, 
Peter Jacobs, who yeah. we lost this year, and uh, of course he played a very crucial part in, in your life and your family's yeah. life, Taryn. Um, Prof was an incredible man, an absolute um, pioneer in this industry and in this field. And I obviously personally got to, to got to meet Prof, um, met him for well, worked with him for three years. Yeah. Not necessarily worked, but he treated my brother. Yes. And um, Chris just admired him so much. He had so much strength. He had a really quirky. Um, personality and that you know he always had his white suit um, doctor's jacket and on the bow tie, and the bow tie the bow you know time. and I think there he is right there. patients just were drawn to him you know and he really inspired them and uh, Chris's biggest thing is that Prof gave him three years of life you yeah. know and and we we are forever grateful to Prof for that because that's three years of life with my brother and Fantastic. yeah wow wow but what I think a gift it's indeed. important yes. to mention this gentleman spearheaded mm -hmm. the whole concept of leukemia treatment mm -hmm and the bone marrow register in South Africa. Yes. And our heart goes out to him, his fam to the family, and to his incredible legacy that he's left behind. Indeed. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and Pick and Pay is doing great work in forging its own legacy where this yeah. is concerned. So Suzanne, over to you and, and tell us oh, about how successful to. the campaign has been this year. Well, never in my life have I handed over a check of this amount. So wow. Karen, wow. Now, that's I think saying I've got to stand up. Okay. This is really a thank you to South Africa for the unbelievable support in Bandana Day this year. I'm so a stand as well. I think you Goodness. can both unveil one side, each pull a bandana okay. off. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. One, two, two three. three. Oh my god. <laughs> So, I mean, wow. it's astounding. So that is purely wow. from bandana sales is, around the country. That's incredible. So congratulations that's, to all of you. Oh, it's amazing. Thank Over you. 4 million yeah. rand Just that in came these. in so these. So thank you to everyone. This this is fantastic. Incredible. This is our biggest it's, donation yeah. we have ever received, and it's, it's phenomenal. I'm shaking. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm also shaking. So thank so you. There we go. Thank you so much. So, Taryn, what difference will this make to, to the work that you do? Um, a huge difference. You know, this, this enables us to tissue tie a couple of thousand more donors next wow. year, you know, and, and I think that's what the public need to understand is really where this is going and and saving lives, you know, that's that's what we're doing and Pick and Pay is helping us do that every day. So, Magnificent. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much, you. Taryn, for the work Thank that you, you do with the Sunflower Fund. And I mean, with, oh, it's just, you know, we keep saying <laughs> it, but you, you, do you want to man, just this it? is what, what <laughs> four million feels like, but Suzanne, for, for finding goodness in so many different ways. Yeah. Thank you very much to you and the Pick and Pay family. And of course, if you'd like to be part of this as well and uh, part of the movement that is uh, moving forward to have the bone marrow registry, you know, climb up to that 400,000 number that we, we, we do really need, we'll have those details for you on our website. Now stay with us, we'll be right back after this.